While the Nest Protect and Nest Secure are relatively simple installs, the thermostat may prove to be a bit more difficult for folks who aren't accustomed to installing these types of things. We're working with a third generation Nest thermostat, which is what you should be getting if you buy a new one. Nest has gone to some great lengths to make this a simple install, and while that's certainly true for the most part, you're still wiring up controls for an expensive system that heats and cools your entire home. No pressure. Hopefully before you bought your Nest thermostat, you checked the compatibility tool on the Nest website. If not, follow the link below and do that before you disturb too much of the box's contents just in case you have to return it. I had a problem in a previous rental home where the thermostat was only a two-wire system and the Nest is likely going to require a three-wire system at the least to get things going. Depending on your home setup, you'll find two additional plates in the box. The metal one is for homes that have the thermostat on an electrical box, while the plastic white plate is for covering up the lack of fresh paint behind that old rectangular thermostat. So basically what you'll see in this video since this part of my house is being worked on. Now before you go ripping out a bunch of old wires, do two things. First off, shut all the power off for your AC system from the breaker. This will both save you from getting electrocuted and save your system from blowing something. Second, take a picture of your existing thermostat and wiring and then make sure to use the handy sticky labels in the installation guidebook to label said wires. You can never have enough references to go back to later. As with all Nest products, make sure to head into your Nest app and add a new device, then scan that QR code on the back of the thermostat and get going through the setup. Now for the wiring, which can be tricky. Some thermostats like mine have a single row of wires, yet different labels on top and bottom, which is deceiving if you haven't seen this before. In my case, I've got a heat pump system and needed to follow the wiring letters on the bottom row. Wiring it according to the top row will cause the system to blow out hot air instead of cold and could very well blow a fuse or do something worse. It may not be the end of the world, but at the very least, it's going to be uncomfortable for a while until you get it fixed. I prefer to trim my cables and re-strip them so that it's got fresh connections to work with. It also helped with this horrible jumbled mess they left in this box when installing the last thermostat. Thanks guys. You'll be wiring up this little plastic disc first. The wires pop right into each port and the buttons will be fully flat with the frame when the wires are properly inserted. These are clamps that hold the wires in when inserted and will let go of the wire when the button is pushed and held down. Remember that if you need to remove a wire later. Depending on the wires you had before and what you selected in the Nest app, you may need to put different labels in different places than the previous thermostat had. I found it easiest to split screen the setup diagram and the picture I took of the old thermostat for a better reference. If your phone can't do this, you'll just have to swap back and forth. There's always the possibility that something didn't quite match up in the wiring, despite Nest having a rather good handle on how most systems are wired. Mine, for instance, blew out hot air at first and then blew a fuse. If you find yourself in any of these predicaments, head on over to our quick troubleshooting video for some ideas on what you could do to fix things up. Once you're done, make sure the wires are flush with the mounting plate, otherwise you won't be able to properly click the thermostat into place. Go back over to your circuit breaker and switch the power back on and you should be in business, ready to set up the software portion of this bad boy. This section is mostly following through the prompts of selecting where you're located, where the thermostat is located in your house, and setting up the Wi-Fi connection. Once you get to the equipment detected section, make sure the wires on the thermostat match up with what you expect on the app. Make sure you select the proper system type so the thermostat knows how to correctly heat and cool the home. One of the cooler settings is called Eco Mode, which will automatically set the temperature while you're out of the house to something higher or lower than would typically be comfortable to spend long amounts of time in. Once you're all done with the prompts, you'll be given a key to pair with the app. This security key ensures that no one else can use your thermostat and acts as a two-step verification. And that's it! It's definitely not the least complicated installation in the world, but we hope that helps solve any issues you might have had along the way. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to subscribe for more videos by clicking that button below. We cover the gamut of tech both here and on the site at AndroidHeadlines.com. Thanks for watching, and until next time.